Hello everyone, this is Jodo Caden from Caden Gaming, and I found quite the interesting thing when I was going to look for ink sacks. Now you can probably see from my waypoints if you read them. If you don't want spoilers, don't read them. <laughs> don't ask me how not to read them, but you'll just have to find a way. But anyway, as you can see, probably right over there, I found an interesting and dangerous discovery. Dangerous because, well, uh, if I run into any of the creatures, you'll understand why it's dangerous. Even if you have good armor, it, there's quite a high likelihood of you dying, frankly. Interesting because, well, I'll show you once I run over to there. And it also is quite useful, because it will help speed up my research process, at least into this select into this select area. I ought to be able to find a way to use these interesting things. Okay, I'll just tell you what it is, because if you haven't seen it by now, you're probably just folding down the video. Anyway, I found a tainted area. A naturally occurring tainted area. These don't... Ha these don't happen very often, but occasionally they do, and it was quite interesting when I saw it. This is actually the first time I've ever seen a tainted area, because I've never actually gotten around to tainting an area in Thumecraft. I know, I played it for a decent amount of time, and I don't remember any of the recipes, and I don't remember... I, don't, I never actually got around to tainting a land, and I never used arcane boars before this playthrough. So... Kind of, I was kind of incomplete on my first playthrough. But anyway, this is a tainted land. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Hey, what's that up there? Is that tainted fruit? Huh. It's an artifact. But anyway, I'm going to be cutting down some of these logs, which I can hopefully use to make something and to research a little bit. Oh wow, that thing just got tainted the moment I plopped it down. I'm definitely going to need to find some way to contain this taint. It's spreading way too fast. Whenever I first found it, it was just a tiny area. Now it's spread over the river. Originally it was just a tiny area on one side of the river. And now it's already spread to this side. Thankfully my house is made out of marble, which is a substance which resists and contains taint. So, I won't have to worry about my house getting tainted, but the area around it might get tainted. But anyway, once I get a research thing, I'll hopefully be able to research and taint and find a way to stop it. For now, the best thing I can do is just try to contain it and chop down as many of the trees as I can and limit how much taint flows into the other areas. Oh, by the way, if anyone could suggest a better recording software than Cam Studio, I'd like to hear it, because Cam Studio has not been the greatest as of late. It's been very, very buggy. But yeah, I'm just going to finish up chopping down this tree, and then I think I'll go home and try to hunt for the ink sack some more. Off screen, of course, since I don't think you guys want to watch me hunting for an ink sack endlessly. If anyone can suggest a better way to find squids than just endlessly looking for them, I'm I'm really open to suggestions. Because I cannot find any squids so far. Uh, you know, I hate leaving trees without cutting them down fully. It just looks so ugly. Oh, did I hear a tainted wisp? Oh no, if that thing becomes tainted... Oh man, that's that's going to be bad news for us all. If that wisp is tainted. Tainted wisps are dangerous. Even more dangerous than tainted creepers, I'd say. And tainted creepers are not something you want to play with. Especially outside of tainted areas. When they explode, they taint every tile they explode around. As well as the fact they have a larger explosion radius and do more damage than regular creepers. So they are no joke. They are very, very deadly. 
Oh, yikes. How large is this tree? But anyway, I'm also planning to do some Mind Z videos, so if you guys are interested in that, you might want to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I know, that's hopelessly trying to get subscribers. I know, that's really <laughs> a really low tactic, but hey, subscribing? I mean, it doesn't take you more than a couple seconds, and it really does help me out. Oh, hey, those logs I placed down just got tainted. Well, that's wonderful. But yeah, as I said, if you're still watching this, please do subscribe. It really does help me out. I mean, how much time does it take you guys? Not very much, as far as I know. Unless you don't have a YouTube account, but you should get one. I mean, really. But anyway, hopefully in the next video, I will have an ink sack and we'll be able to start researching. We already have lots of research materials, as you can see right here. But anyway... Oh, whoa, what's the research value on that? Uh, 20. I thought that was 50 for a second. I was about to say. Yikes, 50. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next part. Have a nice day.